Fed Up Warrior here. Uh, you people that want to take our rights and take our guns and ban AR-15s, I've got a video to show you. This is compliments of military.com. You want the guns banned so bad? Why don't you ask how it's working out in Australia and see what they tell you. A gun buyback that forced law-abiding citizens to surrender their firearms in a nationwide roundup and meltdown of all semi-automatic firearms and pump-action rifles and shotguns. 640,000 ordinary conventional firearms confiscated and destroyed. It was an absolute joke and a tragedy. I actually turned in um, uh, three firearms um, and it looked, it, it broke my heart. I mean, it was 40 years of collecting um, and I, I can't say it any other way than that. I felt sick. Um, I had to hand them in because if I didn't, I was going to jail. There's, there's no ifs or buts about that. By taking that gun away from me, um, they've stolen something from me. A right stolen by their government, promising safety in return for its gun bans. But now citizens know the frightening truth. The cost of lost liberty can be measured in the loss of life. It's become very, very obvious, even to Blind Freddy, that uh, the expenditure of half a billion dollars has done absolutely nothing to reduce crime. It certainly didn't do what the government touted it would do, which was to reduce crime. It hasn't done that at all. In fact, there's been more. This has been a lot of bull and hasn't really done much to uh, help society and with its problems. Cold, hard facts. The anti-gun forces can no longer escape. Armed robberies have skyrocketed, up 69%. Assaults involving guns rose 28%. Gun murders increased 19%. And a new phenomenon? Home invasions jumped 21%. An increase politicians insist they can't explain because they're still trying to legally define what a home invasion is and what the penalty should be. Part of the difficulty is that there is no uh, clear uh, definition of home invasion in the law. Never cease to be amazed at the ingenuity of lawyers. If the politicians want a pay rise, boom, that's done in 20 minutes. But to define home invasion, what a joke. I have no trouble at all in defining what a home invasion is. I think if someone sets their foot inside your door, uninvited, they are invading your home and your privacy. And victims who have survived home invasions don't need a definition. They live through hours of terror. Arthur Field was tied up, his hands and feet taped, his phone lines cut, while two robbers ransacked his house. And they jumped on me and knelt on my chest and grabbed me around the throat because I immediately started calling out help. I don't know how, how many men, they start smashing the windows. There was a lot of glass shattering, a lot of noise outside, and I stood in the kitchen, I was trembling. The Zawatskis remember thugs running through their home, demanding money and threatening to kill them. Mr. Zawatsky says if he had a firearm, the suspects never would have gotten away. Do you understand that you're not white? But it's criminals who have been empowered and emboldened by the new gun laws because the innocent can't fight back. What's happening today is that the offender, the bad guys, are happy to break into somebody's house. They're not frightened to break into somebody's house while they're at home. Citizens deny the right to protect themselves by a justice system that won't. Well, my opinion of the legal system here is it's absolutely weak. Weak as water, I mean, it's because they've just got no backbone, that the sentencing for serious crimes is, is, is just pathetic. And police who can't. They're undermanned, and morale has never been lower. It's very bad at the moment. It's never been worse. Since 1993, we've had a, a real decrease in over 230 sworn police officers in this state. These policemen have joined the job, police women have joined the job to go out and do it, and uh, they can't even attend it at breaks or, or assaults because there's no vehicle to even get them there. Well, there you go, folks. That was courtesy of military.com. You like the video? Please share the video. Like and dislike. Give a comment. You like it on my channel? Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.
and support the Second Amendment.